X-Men, X-Men. Madeline never to me feels especially like Jean. No, never. Not at all. Not even in her early appearances. Basically, he sees her and then they open up on a scene that's just those two dancing, mm-hmm. right? And they're having this like whirlwind romance moment. And of course, Scott is being Scott and being like, I can't tell her secret. But he does in that first scene, which he I think does. is really important. Yeah. He's honest with her in a way that he isn't with Jean pretty much ever because like <laughs> it takes forever for him to be honest with Jean because Jean is terrifying. So and Jean is never that honest with him. Either, yeah, is the thing. I know. Like he doesn't find out that Corsair is his dad until after Jean's dead because yeah. Jean didn't tell him because Corsair asked her not to. Yeah. She's like, I'll give my loyalty to you, random space pirate guy. This is just my boyfriend. <laughs> like we don't need to tell him shit. Scott continues to brood and think. Yes, staring into space. Why do I keep questioning? Why am I trying to destroy us? This is a good question you need to ask yourself, Scott. (laughs) She's the sole survivor of a plane crash that occurred at the precise instant that Jean died on the moon. From the moment we met, she seemed to know me better than I do myself. Yeah, you don't know yourself that well, though. (laughs) So, like, I (laughs) mean, come on. Like, she just, like... (laughs) <laughs> figured out who you were pretty quickly yeah. because you're not that complicated yeah. is the thing. It's like, oh, you seem troubled. And he's like, are you reading my mind? And then he's like, my fiance died. And she's like, wow, I bet that made you really upset. And he's like, like mind reader. How do reader? you understand? <laughs> you're Jean Grey reincarnated, I swear. 